You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Snooki and Jay Wow After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Snooki and Jay Wow After Show. Hey everyone, we are here for Snooki and Jay Wow. Woo woo! Episode four called Liars. And we felt it was very appropriate to have Girls Just Wanna Have Fun as our theme song today because for anybody who tuned into this episode, Snooki and Jenny definitely had fun. I am here with the beautiful and talented. Aw, Charlotte Broadbent. That was a lovely introduction. <laughs> and I'm Ashley Daniels, and we are in Yes, well, it was very true, by the way. I meant it. Oh. Um, and I am hitting her. Okay, we're here for episode four, Liars. Let's get right into it. Snooki and Jenny go on a girl's trip, and Gianni and Roger go on a boy's trip. Let's get into the girl's trip first, because this was hilarious. This had me on the... I say sometimes that these two remind me a lot of the Guido <laughs> version of Lucy and Ethel, and... It's so true for this mm -hmm. episode. It was so funny watching them be their old selves. You know, they really let loose. They had fun. So they went to uh, AC for, I, I guess, maybe a weekend. Yeah, it kind of seemed like a night, but I'm One guessing night. it was yeah. probably a weekend. Mm -hmm. I know the casino was probably a second night. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, well, they did get up the next day and they had breakfast. So yeah. we'll say we'll say it was yeah, a weekend, weekend for the heck of it. And... Uh, it was just unbelievably funny to see the two of them get drunk and hang out with a bunch of transvestites. And, you know, it was something. I mean, I was jealous. I wanted they, to go with my best friend and, and do that. I mean, they were on the floor. They were just having the time of their life. What did you think about their girls' trip and, you know, the difference? Obviously, we're going to get into the boys' trip after. But just the difference between the boys' trip and the girls' trip. I thought it was so great how they, Jenny, saw referred to the two transvestites as, oh, they're dressed up as Gianni and Roger. I, I mean, I didn't, apart from one being tall and one being short, that's probably, that didn't really cross my mind. Well, when they stole the blonde <laughs> wigs off their head, we got a little more, gl a little glimpse of maybe why they saw that. I mean, these two men are now wigless, is that a word? Hanging out in dresses and drunk. And it was With just... With inflatable boobs. Oh my gosh, that was... So that's so how I am when I drink. Are you crazy when you drink? <laughs> I, I do. I like I, I'm good at falling. I have lots of high heels. So yeah, I'm queen at falling over like snow, I, but they both did. They both fell. Oh, yeah. No, I'm queen <laughs> at falling when I'm not when I'm sober. <laughs> like you have no idea. I do these weird things. Where I'll just be walking and all of a sudden both my knees just go and I'm like and I just fall and it's, it's like, did anyone sneakers. see me do that? Yes. Oh no, please. There's no way to hide it. I'm like, did anybody see? It? Okay, everybody saw me. But you just know, carry th on. They. I love that they just have. They don't care. You know, a lot of these reality shows, they still have a filter. They still have a guard mm -hmm. up, and they're afraid to to look like. Oh my gosh, I don't fart and I don't eat. I'm so perfect. I'm a Barbie. These people are like that. Talk so about true. diarrhea. Yeah, and Jenny, like when they were driving back, they were talking. Snooky asked it what. What humans or what species has do all species have buttholes? And then yeah. Jenny burps, and it's just like, well, this is just a conversation in the day in the life of Jenny and Snooky. Like that's yep. just what they do. There's, you're right. There's no filter for these girls. That, that's just them. Now, do you have a, do <laughs> like you have, have no a best shame. friend that you're that comfortable with? Because I know for me, I'm very like. I'll meet you, and within two minutes, I'm telling you, oh, yeah, I have my period right now. Oh, yeah, you know, this is happening, that's happening. Oh, I'm very, I get very personal very quickly. Uh -huh. I just don't care. But for you, is it something like, would you, could you ever picture yourself being that personal with somebody? Yeah, for sure. Like, my, my girlfriends, 
I'm really, that's what we're like, but I don't think if there was a camera there, I would do that. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. So it's totally different when there's a camera on you for you to be that real, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. Because everyone, like all the housewives, all those reality shows, they all want to look perfect and want to impress their viewers and fans. Where, and, but I think that's why Snooki and Jenny have such loyal fans because they do everything and anything. Yeah, they do. <laughs> anything goes with them. Anything. True. True. Um, and I think that's why we. I, I, that's why we like them. Uh -huh. That's why we tune in For every sure. week. Otherwise, we would definitely not be watching them because no. we're not watching them to see their Birkins or to see their. It's definitely not a show that you know, shows their luxury and shows mm -hmm. we don't really know until someone mentions it that they have millions of dollars. We just kind of forget about that. Yeah. We kind of feel like they're like one of us, mm -hmm. except they have a very large bank account. So <laughs> the the party that they, so they go to a party, they go to a, um, a they go to Margaritaville first and they're taking shots of Pepto-Bismol because Snooki has diarrhea. And I thought that was really funny. It reminded me of, did you ever have that pink medicine when you were younger? Um, Cow Paul? I, I, it was, That's I, it what was like called the in England. Okay. They called it like no, was, no. This was delicious. It tasted like oh. bubble gum. Whenever like anybody would have uh, any type of cold, I, I think it's I forget the type of medication that it's called. But every little kid has the pink medicine. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Okay, moxicillin. Moxicillin. But kids have to take like this pink medicine kind. Anyway, it was funny because it reminded me of that because they were taking like Jenny didn't have diarrhea, but she's like, let me just take some. And everybody that has pink medicine, they always want to get sick so they can get pink medicine. So I thought it was funny. Ew, but, I just find that so gross. One of my girlfriends in college would mix um, emergency with vodka. And oh, that's I just weird. think all that, ew. That's weird. Mixing any kind of medicine with, yeah. ew. Yeah, it's, it's a little weird. But I think she was trying to be like, a, hey, you know what? I'm with you on this. You have diarrhea. I'll pretend I have diarrhea. <laughs> I got it too. <laughs> exactly. We're in this together. Right, exactly. <laughs> and then, okay, so we have a total, she just keeps on getting very graphic with the diarrhea. And they go to a club after with the transvestites and they're letting loose. Love and life. Jenny falls asleep. <laughs> and then she decides to leave and go up to the room and take with this caution giant sign. caution sign. So she's literally, I mean, I don't know if she was playing it up for the cameras or not. She looked wasted i can't imagine how much she drank to get that wasted because it was, if she it was, was playing just, it up she was doing a really good job because she, she was. just her eyes like... were like in the back of her head <laughs> yeah. yeah it was pretty funny she, she looked like she was loving yeah loving life yep and then um, she was loving the caution sign I thought it, it was, was so great it, i know it was Out in of bed everything. with her she took it in bed with her that was hilarious <laughs> was her roger for them i love it i loved it. <laughs> and then the thing that i thought was really cute was when snooki came up to the room and then they just hugged. That, they just hugged that, it out. How cute was that? <laughs> you guys are precious. And they held like they had their legs open <laughs> and they really just got very, they have very sexual hugs. Very, They mm -hmm. love each other in a very different. Yeah, like a, a little bit sexual, but it's like, but it's not, but it looks it. Yeah. And it, I think it's their size difference too. Mm-hmm. And, and I feel like that's with Roger and Gianni too. It's, it's so like funny. Yes. Roger and Jenny are like the parents and Gianni and Snooki the kids absolutely you <laughs> totally nailed it and it's so funny the difference in size <laughs> it happens with both of them it's so cute though roger we they saw all... roger pick up gianni and put him in his truck <laughs> later on for their trip and he literally picks him up he, go, he calls him a garden gnome he's like i'm gonna go to paintball with my garden gnome and but it's, it's hot just... for small people to get in those huge trucks i'm small it's, i'm fine right? too it's... i know what it's like i have it's to climb small. on everything still i'm telling you i climb on kitchen cabinets to get plates mm -hmm. like but i have my own little drill no i don't care it's like i know how to make this happen i can get stuff from very high places and I can jump in trucks. I just have my own way of doing it. Uh -huh. And I know? think it was so great that Gianni still wanted to be seen by Roger. He wanted Roger to be scared of him. Yes. Even though he's 10 inches mm -hmm. small. I don't, I don't know how. I, but I, he's, the, <laughs> what do you think he is? Different. Five, maybe, okay, so we, we know Snooki's like four nine. So I think Gianni's probably like a few five, inches taller. Five two, He's probably five, like five, three? he's probably like my height. Five, two, Lorenzo five, has no hope. He's going to be. I, I know. Teeny tiny. He's going to be really <laughs> tiny. He has to be, right? There's really no hope, yeah. Unless he's even got tall family members. Maybe. Even Gian, well, Gianni's mom's tiny. Yep. Ita she's Italians small too. tend to be very petite, but she's not Italian. Snooki is whatever she is. I forget what she is. Spanish or something? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I don't know, but she's petite yeah so <laughs> small family anyway hey good things come in small packages amen remember that people so jumping into the boys trip 
a little different. Now, it was funny that he didn't want to, that Gianni didn't, Gianni didn't want to be truthful in the beginning and let Snooki know that he is going away and he's calling his mom to watch Lorenzo. What did you think of that? Did you think that that was even necessary? No, and I just thought it was so much hassle yeah. to video Lorenzo. He just went through so like so much work to put this huge lie together because he went paintballing. Yeah. They lived with his mom anyway, so what's the big deal if she comes for a day and looks after the baby? That's I yeah, that's a good point. I didn't get there was just a lot of, but he put so much work. I, know. I mean, it was hilarious. In the middle of paintball, it's like, whoa, whoa, we got to stop. Snooki's calling. I think that was for makes the cameras. The yeah, obviously. But then makes the baby cry. And it's like, wow, that's. Yeah. You're going to a lot of effort it, to make absolutely. sure. Absolutely. And she doesn't know. Yeah, that yeah. You've gone paintballing, which right. is that a big deal? I don't know if it was so much. Do you think it had anything to do with the fact that he called his mom? Because they did move so that he didn't have to be. They didn't have to rely on the mom to watch the child. And where did where did this really great babysitter go? By the way, they, that's a really good point. <laughs> Why gone. didn't he call the babysitter? Was it just for this one episode last week, or did we lose the yeah. babysitter for good? But... Yeah. Why Why was the babysitter? That that would probably have been a better person to call if that was Snooky's problem that he didn't want her to call his mom. But after they've lived with her for so long, what's She's probably having withdrawal symptoms from not seeing Lorenzo. Yeah, so and what's, seeing her own son. Yeah, so what's one afternoon that she gets to hang out with a grandson? Right. Snooki's not there anyway. She really didn't have to hang out with her if that's Snooki's problem. I don't know. It so was just do you a think it was effort. fair? Do you think it was fair that she and G Jenny had, they just said they were going to AC and no one questioned them, but then the Roger and Gianni go away and they have to hide everything and sneak around? Or do you think that they just snuck around because... They had their. They just felt like there would be an issue if probably and there really wasn't one. I feel like if they'd have said, I feel like Jenny wouldn't have cared. I don't think yeah. Jenny. And I, I think Snooki. I think it's more about Lorenzo. I don't think it's you can't do that. It's more, oh, neither of us are with Lorenzo. Right. Right. But I think they just took it to a whole new level that it didn't need to go to. Right. I don't think they needed to make it into a huge deal. But I mean, it made it funny. So. I want to know what you guys think. If you want to log on to our iTunes and rate us, comment us, let us know what you think. And the question is, if you guys want to let us know, do you think that it was even necessary for Roger and Gianni to sneak this whole paintballing party and have this whole thing mm -hmm. be very sneaky sneaky? Or do you think that they should have just been able to say to Jenny and, and Snooki, you know, we're going, we're going out for a few hours. Doing. We're going to go have some fun. You guys are having fun. We're going to have some fun. So let us know because I'm curious what you guys think. We're, uh, you know, yeah. definitely pondering it. And um, we are. <laughs> yeah, you could tweet us too um, at Miss Ashley Daniels and what's your and Twitter? Road to making it. Road to making it. Yeah, cool. do it. Tweet us. Let us yeah. know. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So then they're at the um, paintball. I just want to say one thing Please that do. I wrote down that was Please. really funny when the garden gnome. <laughs> yes. I, that's, I know. The garden gnome was the best thing ever. <laughs> So funny. I, it was, was so funny because he was preparing to look scary for Roger, and then Roger picks him up like a toddler and puts him and in his truck. Just calls him a garden gnome. It's like wow. It was so <laughs> funny. And th but you know, when do you have a relationship with somebody that you can like kid around like that and mm -hmm. you don't take it personal? They have a right. great uh -huh. bond. And when do you find a couple that you can hang out with that you're you're best friends with the girl and and the guys get on too and they're best friends mm -hmm. that's they're so lucky yeah they really are and I feel like it was kind of constructed like that they had to get on because of the reality show because yep. of everything but I think I don't know just the way they do they seem to genuinely get on and how much they probably hang out outside of the cameras maybe they don't hang out as much but they have a genuine relationship that comes across on camera so well. It does. And I think it's really cool. It does. It makes you want to have a friend like right? that close and have yeah. that bond. None of my friends have ever liked my boyfriends. Really? <laughs> no. no way. Do you like bad boys or do you like buttoned up suit and tie? Bad boys. You like bad boys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've always liked know. good boys. Like I've always been attracted to, to the nerdy like Maybe because really? I just secretly knew they'd be rich and they'd own the world. I don't know. But, like, I was that girl that liked the nerds. So that's where I'm going wrong. I, yeah, I just, I was always, a, a suit and a tie or, like, any type of uniform. I don't know why. I was, like, I never wanted a bad boy. So I'm, like, he's just going to do nothing with his life. I just right. can see that happening, you know. But, 
Yeah. Sorry if any of them are Sorry, watching. Sorry, guys. I like. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a good boy. You're a good. Yeah, you have a button up hey. on. But you did mention though. You did say you made a really good point about the boys. They what they should have done. Oh well, it's it's a it's a common tactic with with jobs as well. Like if you're gonna be 15 minutes late to a meeting. You stop somewhere and you buy coffee for everyone. You buy donuts for everyone. You, you do something that gives you a reason to have been late, mm -hmm. but it's considerate of them. So if they were smart, they would have maybe, you know, gone out and gotten her flowers or gotten, like, takeout for dinner or something. Like, oh, no, I just had her watch the kid for a few minutes because I wanted to go pick up food for us. Brilliant. Well, Why would you bring him with you? Because we were having, like, a boys' trip, you know. Like, we want to go out and get it together. Like, I mean, I don't know. It's... I think it's that's brilliant. Better. It's really good. I don't think they're that smart, though. <laughs> that makes me seem really manipulative, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. I was about you, like, to say, maybe you are a bad boy. I think I just ruined my chance. No. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Done. No chance now. You have a chance now. No. <laughs> yeah. That's but that's funny. a really good point. It was That would have been a great idea. I just don't think they think like that. They don't think outside the box, you know? Yeah, I think it's very... They were still... And while it was in the car in the traffic... It was just like, we can make it. We can make it. And I mean, when they were Snooky called and she said, yeah, uh, Rogers, the therapist said that he needs to change more diapers. Great one. Oh, yeah, it was that, so stupid. That really covered well, your no, you, I think they were kidding. I think at this point they, they obviously knew it would be funny to kind of make them kind of catch on a little bit that they're lying because then it would make, it would spice up everything. Obviously yeah. they wanted some type of, funny climax. It wasn't going to be like, I'm going to come home on time and we're going to sit down and we're going to hang out with my mom. Mm -hmm. But for anybody who doesn't know what we're talking about right now, at this point, um, uh, Gianni and Roger are driving home because Snooki and Jenny called them and said, we're on our way home. So they speed home really quick. They're trying to get home and they get beat them to it. Traffic. They get stuck in traffic. <laughs> but Snooki and Jenny get home ahead of time. Before them, they see Roger's mom, uh, Jenny, Gianni's yes. mom watching Lorenzo. They catch on to everything and they say, uh-uh. This is why I called, I I feel like this is such an I Love Lucy episode. Just like with Fred and Des, Fred and Ricky, they would be I've doing something. I've never some seen that. I'm leaving. Oh. <laughs> You've never seen I Love Lucy? No. Oh my God. What, what planet gonna, are you I, living on? I'm going to go with the foreign card. You you have to play the foreign card right now because I I'm not staying I'm leaving we're both going we're both leaving okay well I'm a I'm a psychotic Lucille Ball nutbag I'm obsessed with her but basically there it's kind of like this version it's it's a 50s TV show I can't believe I'm explaining what I Love Lucy is right now but it's basically black and white right yes <laughs> forget it anyway for everybody else who's seen I Love Lucy you know that Lucy and Ethel are always up to something and Fred and uh, Ricky always try to catch them and they always are. The two of them are always against, the two couples are always against one another. They're kind of similar in that sense. Even Fred is short and Ricky's tall and it's kind of, it's just ironic how similar the show is. This is the Guido version of I Love Lucy. I really think it is. But basically what I'm getting at is in this case, they decide to turn the tables around, Snooki and Jenny, and they uh -huh. say, okay, we're going to go and park our car down the street and make sure that they don't know that we're home. So they come in and they're going to be so shocked when they see you and I standing there holding Lorenzo. So then that's when they make that phone call uh -huh. that you just mentioned and they say, hey, we're 15 minutes away when really they're sitting down with Roger, <laughs> with Gianni's mom. And what are you guys doing? Oh, we're just chilling. <laughs> the no. dive. So, that was so funny. And did, what did you think of that? Did you think that that was necessary to turn the tables at that point? Yeah. Okay. I do. I go power. Yeah. Like, blame them at their own game. Yeah. If they're going to do that, then. Can't beat them, join them, right? It, it, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was great. I mean, because otherwise they would have, the guys would have pulled up and been like, oh, they're home. That's not good. Right. Whereas they walked in thinking they'd made it. Like, right. ha, ha, ha. And Snooki's just like, liars, screaming it at them. <laughs> and that makes us obviously know what the whole episode why it's called liars. Uh -huh. um, but really, they were both kind of liars. I mean, obviously, you know, they said that they weren't going to, at least in, they, she was insinuating, Snooki was insinuating that she's not going to be her old self and get all crazy. And she's just going away for a weekend. And she's trying to be more mother ma maternal and make better decisions. But do you think that it's appropriate in society, in life to have a child and then go out and get wasted 
and do all the things they did? Or do you think that it doesn't really matter? A kid doesn't really make a difference? I think, I think for Snooki, she tamed it down a lot. <laughs> Compared with what she did yeah. when she was on Jersey Shore, that was a tame night for her. She did calm it down. She fell, what, a couple times on camera? Yeah. Whereas her ass would be hanging out the whole time, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think for her, she really did tame it down. And I think it was probably, I think it is in the back of her head. Yeah, now I have a kid. And, but then on the other side, Lorenzo's going to grow up. But then there's so much that he can watch of Snooki that I think she's probably just like, well, there's so much that you can see of me. Yeah. Does, At this point, what's the difference? Right. I mean, there's nothing left. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I think she did a good job. I, I, I actually do. Props to you, Snooki. You kind of tamed yourself down a little bit. <laughs> and do you think that Jenny should, and this is just a question. I really don't think this myself, but I'm, I'm wondering, do you think that Jenny should ever step in and say, you know, as your best friend, like, how about we just tame it down a little bit I don't want do you think that she should have to watch over her a little bit and kind of help her make any decisions now that she knows she's a mom or do you think it's not her responsibility that's a good it? question I mean yeah as a best friend I guess so I guess she should but I just think that when it's for the cameras you know they have to have fun and they have to make fools of themselves because that's what the show's about. It's about, that's why everyone fell in love with them because Snooki and Wow, they are, they were the crazy two. They were the ones that went insane, you know? They were the ones that religiously, they had a close bond. That was what they did. Whereas now, they have tamed it down. Mm -hmm. But if they continue, what, it, we don't want to watch them have a girls' night and no. sit and watch a movie. No, we don't. You know? So they have to do some things to... All right, so Keep I think we should uh, get into predictions at this point. I'm very curious what you think is going to happen next episode. Well, what did they? Sh I can't even think what they showed so, right okay, now. They, they showed they showed our, uh, Snooki trying on wedding dresses. So I don't think we oh, have to be Einstein how I forget that? to know that she's she looks stunning. She looks absolutely stunning, and I think it's going to be a rocky road up to getting them down the aisle, but I think they're cute together. I think they're a really good couple. Yep. I don't know. I think compared, their relationship compared with Roger and Jenny's seems to be a lot stronger. And I just think, I don't know. She good. looked really cute. She did look cute. So uh, yeah, tune in next week, same time. And uh, you can tweet me at Miss Ashley Daniels, Instagram Miss Ashley Daniels. And where can we find you? Road to Making It on Instagram and Twitter. Woohoo! So thank you so much. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.